In this video, we will continue with trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 176 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Given that cos theta is negative 5 over 30 and tan theta is smaller than 0, so it's also negative, evaluate sin theta and tan theta without using a calculator. Let's just make it a little bit bigger, be better. Okay, let's stop here. So in the cos diagram, cos is negative in the second in, and the third. So cos is positive there, so it's negative there. And then, tan is, oh, where is tan negative? Tan is negative in the second and the fourth. So the quadrant where both are negative is the second. So I fill it in and then, oh, in this quadrant are both, because both conditions must be true. And now, I just do it like with Pythagoras theorem. I, I'm first going to say, what is cos? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is the two. Why is it negative? It's that value. How do I get that value? I just say 13 squared minus oh, 5 squared. And then it's plus minus 12. Now this is plus 12 because it's on top of the x-axis. If it was at the bottom, it would have been there, negative 12. Okay, and then sin, and now I just work it out. Sin is opposite over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. Easy. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I just want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. And to make it a bit smaller, just to have space to write. Okay, let's start. Given that sin is negative and tan, okay, now again, start with a sketch, then it's going to help me. Mm, I want to make it white. Okay. Now, don't forget your cost. Now, where is sin negative? Sin is negative. Negative sin. <laughs> negative sin. Where is tan? Because it's smaller. If it's bigger, then it means positive. Where is tan negative? Um, negative tan. Negative tan. Now, where is both negative in quadrant three, four? Okay, so I'm going to make my sketch there. Now, I'm just going to say sin, I just use that. Sin is adjacent, adjacent, over, oh no, adjacent, listen to me. Sin is opposite, I was wondering where is the negative coming? That's actually going to be negative because it's under. So adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, and how do I work out that one? That is easy. I'm just going to use Pythagoras theorem. So it's going to be 5 squared minus negative 3 squared. And that's going to be 25 minus 9, 16. So it's plus minus 4. So it can either be plus, but because it's on this side and not this side, it's going to be plus 4. Okay. And now I'm going to, I can work out what they ask. Oh, they ask me cos theta. So therefore, Cos theta, this is now theta, okay? So I'm going to say cos theta is now it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's 4 over 5. And then the other one they want, tan theta. Therefore, tan theta is equal tan is opposite over adjacent, so negative 3 over 4. Okay, and don't forget your negative there, because it's under, not top. And that is actually, that negative goes with the free in this case. Okay, and that's how you do it.